Hey guys, Jenny here. Welcome back to Cranking Out Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make a one straw lay uh, with two different size lashes. What this does is creates some dimension and depth in your ribbon lay. Today's lay that I'm choosing to do, um, I feel like this one looks very natural. Uh, I'm using two different greens. I'm using an olive green in the nani, which is the shorter of the two lashes. And then the hoku is a longer lash in this lime color, this lime green. Um, you'll notice that by using the two different colors, the light green is the longer one and the dark green that I chose today is the shorter one. So it really gives depth to this. Um, so it's a long and short hair. Uh, people often choose to do this like in school colors too, like uh, blue and white. If you do the white on the outside and the blue on the inside, it shows a little depth you can do this for any of the colors you want. Uh, we're gonna start it just like we would do a regular one straw lay, because essentially that's all that it is. We're just using a long and short hair. Okay, so I have um, got my ribbon here. Don't forget, we do have lay kits available that come with instructions on how to make the lay. Comes with a reusable straw, our lay tool, um, and then it comes with 50 inches of grow grain ribbon, two kukui nuts, and a wire to help you pull that kukui nut through at the end. It comes with directions too. So these one straw lay kits are available. You will start with your reusable straw and that pointy tip will be where we put our grow grain ribbon through and I'll just you don't need a tool for this part because it easily goes through this like jumbo bubble tea straw and then you just need to push it out about an inch and then I'll take my tape just some scotch tape works great Ta-da! got it on the end have this down. I did start this one earlier. I'm just going to push it off to the side. Um, this is a great way for you to see how to stop and start lays too. If you walk away from it or if you run out of lay material yarn and you need to attach more, you actually don't tie it on to the last um, yarn that you did. You tie the last part of yarn, tie it off, stop it and then start again. So we're gonna pick up where we, the very beginning. I'm gonna take both of my yarns. Now you'll notice here too, this one, the Hoku, um, it's a longer lash. So if the Nani lash is the short one, like it's maybe half an inch tall, Whereas this one goes beyond that and might be, I don't know, three quarters to an inch. It's a little bit longer, the actual lashes. So when it comes to how much yardage is actually on the skeins, since this is a shorter lash, there's more yardage. So there's about 100 yards on in one of these skeins. For the hoku, since the lash is longer, there is, let's see, 45 yards, so about half the amount. You may need two of the hoku um, because there's just not a, as much yardage in here. Just a little tip, you might run into that. Like, why do I have so much of this one left over? Um, that's why you don't get as much yardage on the hoku. Okay, so I'm gonna take both of these, tie them, act like they're the same, tie them at the base. So I'm just loosely 
tying it onto that grow grain ribbon. Again, not too tight, not too loose, but just right. You want it to be able to slide, but you don't want the knot to come out. I'm gonna slide it against the bottom of that straw. And it's okay if these, these guys are long, it's totally okay. And then I'm gonna start winding. When I first started doing this, I was like, why doesn't it come unwound? I didn't understand, it just doesn't. I can't explain it, it just doesn't. <laughs> and I'm winding. Making sure that this is a finger, like each space is about a finger's width apart. And wind. And already we can start to see the depth in this, the dark green. It's really making it nice. I love to see all the different color combinations. Another good one is orange and the lime green. Actually, you could do more than two colors. You could do three. I've even done up to five colors. If you use the same color, um, you wouldn't use one skein at a time. Go ahead and wrap two at the same time. You're going to get your lay done and faster. <laughs> now I'm noticing that when I wrapped it, it was, it was a little tight, so it's kind of hard for me to pull this down off the straw. Um, so I'm just going to do it a little looser. By doing two colors at a time, it's also really, or two skeins at a time, you can do your lay a lot more quickly. Okay, you can see how beautiful that is. If you ever come to a spot where there's a little knot or an imperfection in your yarn, you can always stop it. So I'm going to just push this down to what I was working on earlier. Make sure you don't push it off the edge. <laughs> I'm going to cut it. And this is how you stop it. I tie a knot. Not too loose and not too tight, but just right. One, two. Because I always want this to be able to slide. Oh, it's so nice. And then I can just give it a haircut, right? Trim it. If I wanted to start up again, or if there was a little imperfection, like I said, you could just cut off if there's a knot you can't get out. Um, or even sometimes I found sometimes the um, skeins of yarn, sometimes there might be, uh, like it might have broken. So you can just stop and start by doing this, tying it on again. So I'm just gonna start just like I did before, a knot too tight, but not too loose, just right. Scoot it to the bottom, and then wrap, and just continue your lay. You can get really creative and stop and start with different colors in each section. That's another something you could do also. I'm gonna go ahead and complete this lay and I'll show you how to attach the kukui nut. So let's go ahead and give it a haircut. This is where I started it earlier. Stop. And I like it when it feels really firm and not like really loose. Uh, that feels very inexpensive to me. 
when the yarn is packed in tight, it feels, um, it feels like an extensive play. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take this tape off my straw. And let's add the kukui nuts. I like to angle the ribbon. I'm gonna cut this one a little shorter. I do like to have at least 12 inches so I can make a bow at the end. Um, this is a little sample short lay for us. Now the kukui nuts have a little hole drilled in them, um, but it's too small for me to get this ribbon to go through. That's why I need this easy beater or a piece of wire. So I'll take the easy beater and I'll put it in the little bottom part of the kukui nut. Can you guys see that shape? It has a little bottom at the end and that's where I will thread my easy beater through. Put the ribbon through that loop and pull and attach. Same thing over here. I've got the little bottom of the bead, the kukui nut, thread my easy beater through, put the ribbon through the loop, and then pull the easy beater. And that completes the leg. Just need to tie a bow. That, my friends, is how easy it is to make a one straw lay with two colors.